Breaking news, oh, breaking news, breaking news. My Biafran brothers and sisters, they say wonder shall never end. Ane kunke, ane zendi beri be mele fadi mekwa ozo. Now, ane zendi bo are planning to meet Oga, Mrs. Tunumbu, Bola, Adekunle, Amedi. Over my maze nam de kano so freedom. I don't know what these people are really fighting for. I don't know what uh, they, they, they stand to gain in all these things. There's, there's no any point meeting anybody, begging anybody, or asking anybody to have mercy on Mazen Namdekano, just like their previous uh, uh, pleading. Mazen Namdekano, as the law may have it, and uh, both locally and internationally, is free like a bird. The court in Nigeria, I mean, the second highest court we have in the land, have declared him free. I said, discharged and acquitted, and barred every court in Nigeria to try him. So whatever they are doing now is just medicine after that. Anyway, we are going to read the news to my people so that when I go follow me, just this matter, whether these people are really on the right track or on the wrong track. I don't want to talk too much, my dear brother. Remember, we are still on the campaign. Remember the slogan, hashtag Biafra to the world, hashtag Biafra to the moon. Hashtag all should help Biafra, whether you are Biafra or non-Biafra, because these people you are seeing here is another Israel of our time. That is the Biafran nation. Whether they believe it or not, whether they like it or not, that is the way it is. And that is the way to go Kiabi Mahabedi to be. Nobody is going to stop it. Because anything that they are doing on the Biafra or on the issue of Biafra is dead on arrival. The Chuko Kiabama have already made it, signed it, and sealed it that these people must surely be independent on their own. So, my wonderful people, I don't want to take much of your time, neither do I want to take mine. We are going to say to the reason why we are here this Monday morning. Remember, share, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification icon, be notified or be getting updates each time there's any new post or we will go live on this channel. Have a nice day as we are about to proceed. Let us read in between the lies now. Oaneze Ndibelibe Worldwide has disclosed his plan to meet with Ebola Ahmed. Uh, Adekunle Tunumbu to converse for the release of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Ipob Maze Namde Kanu. And as the president Emmanuel Iwanya who said this on Saturday during a concert or a courtesy visit to the leadership of the leadership of the Supreme uh, Council of Nigeria Traditional Rulers, Southeast Chapter, led by President His Royal Majesty Eze Inyanye Choku. Mwoke na of Abia stage at his glass house orgy. Okay, orgy where office complex. He said the planned visit to the president is centered on the all issues bordering the people of the southeast geopolitical zone. Iwanya stated that the move to push for the release of uh, the sessionist from the custody of the Department of State Service became necessary following the worsening security situation in the region. According to him, some persons are using Kano's name and uh, his incarceration to perpetrate crimes in the region, saying they are only after their selfish interests. Your request, Supreme Council of Nigeria Traditional Rulers Southeast Chapter, and solidarity visit have reinvigorated the leadership intention to see Bola Ahmed Adekunle Tunumbu's Missisi on the issues concerning the Igbo ethnic group, more especially the need to release Maze Namdekano of Ipo. His continual uh, detention is escalating insecurity in the southeast. But the question we hear, we, we, I always ask uh, whenever this uh, issue of uh, uh, the insecurity comes up and you want to plead uh, or whatever I want to do with the, 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 the executives over the insecurity in the southeast, are they really interested to make sure that this uh, place have a camp? They have already known that all every insecurity is centered on Mazen Namdekano and the risk of Mazen Namdekano that is to return to their normal uh, peaceful environment that will make everything to be to be uh, to be harmonized and uh, the the lives of everybody will went to normal because in their own areas where we say the north east northwest and north central because they are the ruling uh, uh, class in the Asorok. Turumbu is just a tenant in Asorok. We we all know that the main landlord are are there in the in uh, at the at the cabas the man landlord are uh, in uh, what do they call it this um, uh, sultan of sokoto 
the 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 the, the, the origin of uh, Asorok is in that uh, Sultan of Sokoto. That is where they, they they gather to make all the evil meetings on how to hijack everything, whether every election that comes our way. So the question is, are they really interested that this uh, Southeast they want peace to return? If they want, if they're really interested, Mazen Nandokan would have been freed one year ago when he was discharged and acquitted. Let us uh, see uh, when uh, he is released. Any person or group that will be instigating insecurity or crisis in Igbo land using his name or detention, according to Emmanuel Iwanyaun. Some people and groups are illegally feasting on his popularity and detention just to cause unnecessary trouble and problems in the entire Southeast for their own selfish interests. There must be peace and stability in Igbo land. Immediate release of Mazen Nam the Kano will definitely restore sanity, restore peace and the progress in the southeastern part of the country according to Ima Iwanyaw. Troops of uh, Operation Udoka too. They are already terrorist uh, camps in Imo State and Anambra State. Thank God they did not mention uh, that uh, this, this one is an uh, IPOB uh, and ESN uh, uh, listen camp. But anyway, let us read the news uh, to know exactly how and uh, how many uh, how many listen, uh, how many fishes have been caught. Troops of the Operation Udoka 2 conducted a clearance operation on terrorist camps in Imo and Anambra State on Saturday. The troops arrested a suspected terrorist and also recovered improvised explosive device making materials, motorcycles, stored foods and other logistic items in the camps. Acting Deputy Director of Army Public Relations, 82 Division Enugu, Lieutenant Colonel Jonah Onakalo, stated on Sunday that the clearance operation held at Lilu Community and Osumogu Forest in Osu local government area of Imo State. The troops also conducted clearance at Ihiala local government area of Anambra State, he added. During the clearance operation, the troops encountered various types of obstacles and detonated many improvised explosive devices, IEDs. The troops came in contact with the terrorists who fled into nearby bushes with gunshot wounds due to superior firepower. Several camps and shrines of the terrorists were also destroyed, Unankalo stated. He implored law abiding citizens in the southeast region not to relent in giving timely, credible, and reliable information to security agencies, particularly to Operation Udoka 2. Such reliable information, he explained, could lead to the arrest of those that escaped with different degrees of gunshot wounds. We also use the medium to all the good people of the uh, Southeast region to ignore the deceitful tweets of the self-acclaimed Biafra leader, Simon Ekpa. Law-abiding residents should be rest assured that the Southeast region will be free of all forms of criminality. Anyway, to say the record straight, my uh, Biafra region army have already conducted their own search and also confronted the Zoological Republic of uh, Nigeria military uh, in their terrorist uniform, uh, trying to invade our land. They call it Operation Udoka. But uh, indirectly and directly, they are Operation Wiping Out or Operation Ethnic Cleansing in our area. Imagine the area that have a little, I mean, what do I mean? I mean, they have a little uh, kind of uh, insecurity. They are using aircraft to bomb our innocent uh innocent uh, Biafrans uh, through the land and the air but the uh, Biafran region army inaugurated by uh, Simon Ekpa have given them water water in fact uh the information we are having here is that most of the Nigerian or most of the zoological uh, military have been captured because they have a face a face to face encounter with the Biafran region army and the Biafran resistance army as well anyway operation Doka too we continue to combat crime and criminality in accordance with the extant uh, rules and regulations guiding its operations, Unakalo added. Anyway, we are waiting for the news to come out. Let them come out and, and let us know that uh, the Afrika Legion Army have captured and the, 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 even themselves, according to the news I'm hearing here, uh, they bow before the, Niger the Biafran military uh, army, which is uh, the Biafran Legion Army or Biafran Resist Resistance uh, Army. So that's what it is, take B. So, anyhow, we're not taking I'm I beg, make on keep on sharing this message because we are doing what we are moving forward.
they must surely know that their friends are, are the least people you can ever toy with. It. Anyway, on that business segment, 123 portraits shut down. Sorry, 127 portraits shut down. Over 5 billion dollar loss to economic hardship. Farmers lament. Now, so the country won't take good. There be people are losing their money. People and the government are the one profiting. Hey, Nigeria, which way forward? Anyway, that one concerns them. We are their friends and we are minding our business. Poultry Farmers Association of Nigeria says it has lost over 5 billion naira and more than 127 poultry farms shut down due to the economic hardship caused by fuel subsidy removal. Musa Hakim, the Secretary of PAN, uh, Federal Capital Territory Chapter, disclosed this weekend while speaking with journalists during the World Egg Day celebration in Abuja. He noted that other factors contributed to the loss, including uh, forests and a ban on imported uh, maize and soya beans. Hakim listed the uh, other challenges but veiling the industry as a high rate of disease, lack of access to credit facilities, high feed costs and poor quality checks. We call on the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation to carry pan along in the military's homegrown school uh, feeding program in the area of egg supply and production. This collaboration will create wealth and empowerment along uh, the supply chain. He said, World Egg Day is an opportunity to make everyone aware that eggs are excellent, cheapest source of high quality nutrients. Egg has social economic rules which include means of livelihood, achieving a certain level of economic independence, meeting human needs for dietary animal protein supply. It also enhances investments and security against risks for small scale poultry farmers, according to the news we are having here. Well, uh, in another development, again, uh, what we have here is uh, according to Al Haji Wang Kwan Su, he said to the newly wedded uh, couples, don't you take your husband's phone, no. Kwan Kwan Su advises women at Kano Mass Wedding. Say, if you want your marriage to last, I beg, stay away from your husband's phone. The new Nigerian People's Party, Rabiu Musa Kwan Kwan Su, has cautioned the newly wedded wives against checking their husband's phones. Kwan Kwan Su said this would avoid uh, anything that could lead to marriage breakup because on a, <laughs> they don't marry on a uh, uh, credit give on a husband day. The former presidential aspirant spoke at the reception organized for the mass marriage of 1,800 couples by the Kano State Government at the Open Theater in Kano Government House on Saturday. Kwan Kwan Sia, who had earlier held the mass wedding as a move towards social cohesion and morality change, said, You have been advised by all and sundry. I believe you have been advised a thousand times. Ulama's parents, relatives, and even business people have advised you on how to live peacefully with one another. But I have one single piece of advice for you that is checking your spouse's phones. Don't peep your spouse's phones, as that is the major cause of marriage breakup these days. Kwan Kwan Sia lauded the political commitment demonstrated by Governor Abba Yusuf for making the exercise a very good uh, and a reality. So, and I don't hear that more, and I hear we will take back break. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and more uh, uh, more interesting videos. Then uh, the, the, the slogan and the campaign is still going on. Uh, hashtag Biafra to the world and hashtag Biafra to the moon. Hashtag all hell Biafra and hashtag free Maze Nam Dekano now. Now, so the thing take B. So, anyhow, we do, anyhow, we take understand them. Make sure you obey all these uh, basic principles. That is how we are going to get what we want from the international community because they are watching and they are noticing everything. Have a nice day. May good Lord uh, bless you as you do this. So remember, my name still remains Amandia Neze from the platform or reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk, the media house or the channel or the YouTube outfit where they give you everything in basketball. So we don't propaganda. Every news you are hearing from my platform is the truth and nothing but the truth. And we don't give fake news. So whatever you are hearing here, my dear, it is from a right source. Remain blessed and may good Lord bless you and prosper you, empower you in this new week and new day. And it shall be well with each and every one of us as we proceed. Bye for now, my wonderful dear friend, brothers and sisters. Kemesiano.